Hey, welcome back to my channel. So first off, before we go ahead and get into this video, I do need you to do me one big favor and that is subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate hitting over 20K. I know I've never formally said thank you, but thank you so much for all of my subscribers. And I would like to continue to keep growing my channel, 30K on the way. So continue to subscribe to my channel. Now, I do wanna first off apologize too if the lighting looks a little bit different. I I'm in my daughter's nursery because I'm doing a video that's kind of about her. She's like the star of the show these days. I'm 35 weeks pregnant and I have started to pack my hospital bag. When I say started, it's like 95% of the way. The only things that are not in here yet, I'm going to link down below. And that's simply because I am ordered had to order them and waiting a little bit of time for shipping for them because... As you know, most of us are on like a stay home order, so you can't go anywhere and get anything. You have to order everything and shipping is all backlogged and all that other craziness. So, but I will go ahead and show pictures of that later on in the video. So without further ado, let's just hop right on into it. All right. So this is my bag um, at my hospital currently. I'm not sure I'm going in you know, fingers crossed. And I would like to have a labor, like actually push this baby out of me. Now with that, I would have to stay inside of the hospital for two days. If I have to have a C-section, it will be three days. So I went ahead and kept it on the safe side and packed my bag for three days, okay? And in my bag is also my girlfriend's items as well because she's my one guest that will be staying with me. So I had to pack her items as well, things that are gonna make her comfortable during the stay. So none of these things are in any type of particular order. I'm literally just going to try to go through this bag without you know, completely unpacking it because there was a reason why I packed it in the first place. But anyways, the first thing is I have some loofahs. I have a black one and Somewhere down in here, oh, here it is. I also have a pink one as well. I'll probably give my girlfriend one of them. I know they have rags and things or what well, towels, you know, personal towels as some people call them. I really let my hood just show saying rags. Um, but I would prefer to have these little guys here. So that's what I have there. I have a toothbrush, my own toothbrush for me and her. Uh, same thing they may have it but you know guys this is just a hospital it's not a five-star hotel so you want to be if you want to be picky about what you want I suggest you just bring your own stuff and be picky um, these are some things I picked up from Walmart some toothpaste crest the one I like uh, lip balm because I didn't want to forget lip balm and have my lips all dry I got a little thing of my Cetaphil. I use Cetaphil all the time, moisturizing lotion, and it was just easier to get the travel size versus carrying my whole big size and remembering it. Um, morning Burst Facial Scrub. Now this is not like one of my favorite products at all. I would have preferred like some of my Derma E minis, but like I said, shipping is crazy. Shipping is crazy with a lot of places, so I just didn't want to, um, risk it so I just got this instead okay I also have in this bag some travel on the go size Neutrogena makeup remover wipes the little singles I packed up quite a few of those and I have those makeup remover wipes because I am taking me a little bit of a makeup bag now I know that the whole makeup thing is so controversial some people feel like some women feel like Oh, you know, you're very vain if you're going to be wearing makeup. <laughs> okay. I'll, I, I'll give you that one. Or uh, they feel like, you know, you're focused on the wrong things, blah, blah, blah. Listen, this is your day. This is your moment. I waited nine whole months for this. Nobody is going to tell me how to do this process. No one's going to tell me, you know, anything or make me feel any way about wanting to wear makeup or not wanting to wear makeup or whatever the hell it is that I want to do on this day that I'm pushing out this child of mine. So with that being said, here is what's in my makeup bag. All right. I have my highlight palette by Dior. 
Okay, I have some setting spray and I like the Derma E Skin Beneficial Mist Mood Enhancing and this one is Create. My foundation, I like a nice and easy foundation, especially because, you know, while I do want to look nice, this is not like I'm walking the runway. I'm delivering a human, you know, nothing, nothing too major or anything like that. I'll be back in Tybo by 6 p.m. the next day. I got this foundation. It's in shade D50 and it's CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation. It's really easy, nice. I love the finish. I also have this foundation too. This is honestly my daily, I call it quarantine makeup bag with full of things that I just put on on a daily just to make myself, you know, feel nice while you're still in the house so you just don't let yourself go. Um, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I have it in number 13 chestnut so since it's in there I'm going to take that as well uh, my mascara by Il Maquillage I love this mascara I have some glue hair glue yes for my lashes listen if you know you know if you don't you don't I saw I'm gonna say on that one uh this blush here that I like by NYX it's a soft flush or maybe it's called soft flush yeah it's the ombre blush look how pretty that is Oh, this is so pretty, especially for like that summertime. And it's going to be June when I have her, so it's perfect. I have this little palette. I suggest, I suggest every woman get a little eyeshadow palette for her bag that has between like four and eight eyeshadow colors that you just absolutely love. I just happen to love all really nudie colors. So this Naked Petite Heat is really good for me. I created my whole little eye look situation today with just this palette so I think it's like it's just the right amount of color for me without it being too much and I like my makeup these days a little more simple so it's perfect um born this way concealer in the color warm sand I have a brow gel this is new I may not use this this is the LA color loose powder and deep um, by Il Maquillage. This is their Affinity Long Wear Matte Lip Cream. I love it. I actually have just a tad bit of this on. It's really purple, but all I do is take literally a smidget like that because I actually don't like too much color on my lips and I just pat it in. And that's it. It just gives your lips a nice little flush per se. And then I have my brow pencil and a contour by LA Colors. I'm even going to show y'all this one, y'all, because this is my everyday one, and it's rad gutty. And then I also have these lashes, y'all. And these lashes are, I'm going to wear them depending on, like, what happens. If I have an epidural, if I have to have a C-section, whatever, what day. If I do it, like, all labor, no epidural or stuff, obviously I'm going to wait to put these on until it's time for me to take my pictures with her. But if, say, I end up having a C-section or I get an epidural and I'm just sitting and I'm waiting and it, labor can be just long, and especially if you have to get an epidural, you can just be sitting there not really in a whole lot of pain and this is when people find downtime to do their makeup because I know that's a question that people are going to ask but I don't know I'm not going in with any expectations this is my first time so I'm just going to kind of go with the flow okay next up I have my nursing cover that someone suggested that I bring just because I will be nursing and it's a lot of people in and out and you know again I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna feel with everybody seeing my big old titties so you know I have that as well so moving on to my clothes I brought I believe two sets of pajamas yeah so because mostly I will probably be in like the hospital gown the first day and then I will just probably want some nice cozy cozy pajamas so I just got this. It says, hello, summer, with a cute little watermelon. And that's a little inside joke to the fact that I love watermelon. I've loved watermelon this entire pregnancy. It has been my number one craving, y'all. I love eating watermelon. And then I have this one. And I got this from Walmart the other day. What does that just say? Living my life. Just another little cute one. And then I got pants to go with it. 
I got everything in a size, I believe, extra large, 16, 18. Normally I'm a 12, 14, but with the weight from pregnancy and also I have to assume I'll still be a little slow, I wanted to keep it safe and just get a size 16, 18. I also have a robe and I'm gonna show y'all what the robe looks like to match baby girl when we swaddle and I'm waiting for that to come. Or actually, no, I'm not gonna show y'all. Y'all will see it on the big reveal when I show her show. You know, me and her. Y'all see it then, all right? So then I have um, a sports bra because they told me I needed comfortable bras. So I have this sports bra. And then I also have a bralette like this. And you can find this um, at Walmart. I just look like in the granny panty and bra section because as you can see, it's nothing real cute or spectacular at all. I have some socks that my girlfriend bought me. She just thought that these were cute and she got these for me months ago. These are socks with the no, with the little grip on it so that um, when I'm walking around the hospital floor, hospital floors are usually slippery. So they just have a little grips on them. These pair says wife, mom, boss. And then this one says coolest mom ever. So I thought that those were so cute to take with me. And then last on, I got some big old panties, y'all. I got these in a big old 2X <laughs> boy shorts. Um, this is six pairs because they told me that I was going to need really big old giant panties because I guess everything is just going to be swollen big. I don't know, y'all. That, that's all I keep hearing is just... You want to be comfortable because you're going to be swollen big, all right? And this just reminds me that I did not pack yet a coming home outfit. I might order some. I got a Victoria's Secret card, so I might actually order me some cute joggers or something. I'll show y'all a picture if by now I have a picture. But I know it's recommended to wear like a flowy dress or joggers and like, you know, little like jacket with it something like that is what I wear to go home real quick my girlfriend stuff because she got some cute little things too because she want to be cute and comfortable some little hello kitty socks and then she bought one set of pajamas as well because I think she too is just going to pack like some joggers and um, like athletic wear gym clothes because she'll be the one that's like going back and forth to get us food from the cafeteria when it looks like I can eat. And she'll be the one, you know, going to the nursery when the baby has to go down to the nursery and stuff like that. So she'll have, you know, an actual outfit on. These are her pants that goes with those. But these are just a pajama that she can wear for the two, three days and be cool with. Um, and yeah, that's all she bought. The only other thing I'm going to bring, which I haven't purchased yet because you want to purchase it closer to when you're ready to go, is some snacks for her just because I know my baby. She'll be at the vending machine, so the vending machine gets costly, so I'm going to pack her some of her favorite snacks in that bag as well. The last two items I have in my bag, completely optional, but just because I got these in a little sample pack, I'm going to take them. Um, the po disposable breast pads by Avant or Avanti, however you pronounce that. And then a speaker, okay? A speaker and chargers for my speaker. So I have a charger for my speaker, charger for my phone, all of that in this bag as well. This is mainly just so I can have some music to help me get through labor. I'm going to create me a playlist on Spotify of music that makes me feel strong, music that keeps me, you know, serene and motivated and different breathing styles in between. So just want to be really prepared with that. So let's get into her bag really quick. It's going to be very um, quick and easy for her bag. <laughs> So the first thing I pulled out was her coming home outfit, which I'm not going to show y'all because that's obviously I want it to be like a big surprise what she looks like coming home. I got some soothies. These are the pacifiers they distribute at the hospital just in case. I don't know if they're not going to be trying to get my baby a pacifier, but if she wants it, she wants it. So I'm going to let her have it. Um, I brought her some mittens because babies come out even with little nails and they'll be scratching so i wanted her to not be scratching up her pretty little face 
um her brother got her these these are it's a wooden baby hair brush and comb set so this is what it looks like i don't know how much we'll be using of it i know this is for like the cradle cap so i may use that um after she takes her first little wash up want to brush her hair out or something for pictures so that's why i have that i got her some sleepers so she has this one it says sleep like mommy and then she has this one with the little feet in it i got her one foot in one foot out because let me tell you mama got a size 11 12 foot and those little holes look kind of small for a bet for a foot of a baby that is coming out of me so that's why i got her a foot out one just in case i got you home girl don't worry um swaddles that i have these are the cutest two of them so she'll be in her little swaddles as well and then she has matching headband for the swaddles um i got her some some of these like little onesies and I know this is a lot of clothes. She may not wear them. She may wear them. But I don't know. I'm always over prepared and under prepared. That's just me. I have her a burp rag. Cute little burp rag. I have her um, shoes in here that she's going to wear to come home. And then over here in this zipper, the only other thing I have her is just some socks. They're just white with little black hearts. I'm not going to show y'all those and these two little hats other than that i have a lot of space because i have been advised that any and everything that they give you in that hospital room you are paying for through your insurance so pack that bag up and i will be doing just that and this is her diaper bag here it's from doco club and this is actually a baby shower gift from one of my clients thank you so much and i love it i think it's so cute it's so convenient it's backpack style and yeah, they really made, they really gonna upgrade on diaper bags from when like my mom was having babies and it was just that horrible, cheap, I don't know, uh, diaper patty material that just, just ugly. But this is cute, I like this, I really, really do. To <laughs> be taking with me, obviously the car seat that you see in the back, my Nana got me that car seat. And then I'm happy, I happen to be actually bouncing up and down because I am on my labor ball. So I will be taking this ball with me. I will show y'all, but I don't have bottoms on. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do that today, but I will have a link down below in the description box to show you where I bought it. Can we Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. Anyways, y'all, I hope that y'all really enjoyed this video. Um, comment below and let me know, is there anything else that I'm missing? I'm a first time mom, so I don't know at all. I don't know everything I should have. Let me know if there was anything that specifically helped you. And yeah, give me all those tips and advice in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video again. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.